33 and a third chance of winning. But I, I got a 66 and two thirds chance of winning. Yep, you got me mad now. I ask myself, what are you doing right now? Suffering succotash, son. You ain't nothing but a souped up spider monkey, boy. Just like you say, when you got me lose, that be, that gonna be the first time. That was not easy to say. You'd be surprised how hard it is to pick up a mic and sell a promo in front of, you know, 20,000 people. No big deal, right? Yeah, no, really big deal, all right? <laughs> not everybody is like the greats. You got a haircut like a shaka mom, ain't dumb. But you know who's not great on the mic? These five people that I'm about to tell you who I think could use some mic work, some promo work in the WWE if they want to make it to the big time. And look at me, you Bray Wyatt. I'd like to give you all the chance to say a few kind words. He talked talk too much. much. Bray rambles. He just goes on and on and on. He rambles so much, he has a character in his Five Nights at Freddy Funhouse named Rambling Rabbit. So this guy knows he can't shut the fuck up, <laughs> right? This dude talks more than me when I'm trying to explain something. Only difference is I'm not boring. Right, Fearless? Bray has definitely gone to the school of Papa Pedigree when it comes to rocking the mic. Hey, yo. Pause. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's next? Wesley. Winning the championship is no greater feeling. Losing the championship sucks, but hey, that team or that guy is better that day. You'll get him back. But when a championship is taken from you, didn't lose it, but taken from you. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I really like Wesley. I really, really do. He's one of those wrestlers that's so good. The WWE has no idea what to do with him. Look at what they're doing with Tyler Bate, wasting such great potential. Wait a minute. Finally, Bate and Gacy were working for a moment. Right around! Only difference between them, though, is Tyler is great on the mic. Wes, not so much. Yo, he may not care about what you say about him, but I do. And I won't stand for this disrespect. I meant no disrespect to you, brother. Yeah. Let's see if you keep the same energy when we're in the ring. He was great with the other rascals in Impact Wrestling, but he hasn't been able to bring that same strength to NXT. And quite frankly, NXT lost direction on him as well until they made him the proud to be an American champion. Now he's a champ with not a lot of promo skills. You can't be WWE successful that way, can you? Suffering succotash. You're annoying and you're strange. But since WWE is full of old guys and legends from the past that want you to do things their way, they don't understand how to handle Wesley and his weed, and that comes off as him being childish when he's on the mic. Who's named you next? Every time I hear Ricochet on the mic, all I think is down, down, down. And it's not because he sucks, but because he seems like he's green as goose shit every time he picks up the mic. And then I, I think of, sir, of, this is what's gonna happen. What the fuck you talking about? Just take a look at this peak moment of embarrassment brought to you by Drew McIntyre. Guarantee you. Honestly, you guys can sit here and talk all night about who deserves what or who to blame for whoever's failures. But I didn't come here to talk. Then shut up! Goddamn. Yo, look at his face. Dude is looking for any word in the English language to help save him from this awkward monstrosity of a conversation. Vince already isn't a fan of the smaller wrestlers. Add that to the fact of him sucking on the mic. Hey, yo. They're pretty much gonna leave him in the mid card. They use Ricochet as needed. Uh, you know, a high flyer in the ladder or money in the bank match because in the air is where he's a Viking, which is why they should team him up with Wesley. Let them get matching gear, uh, give them a new name like the Flippy Flops or team uh, Vince isn't gonna like this, but Papa Pedigree will. Uh, <laughs> that last one is a little lazy, maybe not that. All right, all right. What's really weird about Ricochet is that he was the Hulk Hogan of Lucha Underground when he was Prince Puma. You would think he would be comfortable as hell on the mic. He was masked up like Rip Hamilton, so I guess speaking wasn't necessarily necessary. How I speak, I know what I want to say now. So, I mean, to everybody, everybody got their opinions, but everybody don't know, kind of. Spit it out. Dominic Mysterio. Dom, would you like to weigh in? Because I know these people just love when you talk. Dirty 
Dom, my boy, has reached legendary status already. He ran Edge out of Judgment Day. He beat his father, Rey Mysterio. Whoops, Seth Rollins' his ass. Legend. And let's please not forget that he's cucking Mommy Rhea. But he acts all ominous when he's getting cucked by a kid named Dominic. Only problem is, he is so decent on the mic that the audience won't allow him to speak. Speaking of, let's get into that. Who raised y'all? At Wrestle... Don't boo, Dom. Oh, please stop booing. Take your time, Dom. Take your time. Really? How dare y'all disrespect the god Dom? Lest we forget the bid he did. I, I, I just forget he spent more time in the Uso penitentiary than the Usos. Show the god respect. Now, back to the mic work. Not godlike. <laughs> but to be fair, he's still learning. Right, he's still young, he's on a come up, he's still new, and this is nepotism at its best, and I love it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with helping out your son. You wouldn't help out your son move up in his career, you would be a horrible father if you didn't, and Ray is a great father. I mean, not to Dom, but, but you know, I mean, you know, but get a kid sometime. He'll be the new Latino Heat in no time. Number one, step forward. Rondo Rousey. Your elbow's feeling a lot better, and you want to challenge for this title at SummerSlam? No, wait, no, Royal Rumble, that's a lot sooner, yeah. I mean, it depends on how your elbow's feeling. I mean, how you feeling, Queenie? Shut the fuck up! Will you shut the fuck up? Absolutely. Number one person in WWE that needs the most mic help. Listen, if Ronda Rousey wasn't Ronda Rousey, she'd be Jeff Jarrett. Capital G, double O, double N, double E. Gone. All right, all right, maybe not double J. Ronda is obviously tough, man. There's no doubt about that. But pro wrestling is a different beast. Now, she has been successful in WWE. You know, multiple time women's champ, no one care. Multiple time tag champ, no one care. Winner of the Royal Rumble, no one care care okay and it's most because wwe this seems like an option for her something for her to do until dana white calls her to come back any other stupid questions maybe it wouldn't be so bad if she weren't so bad on the mic Sasha making get better today than she was just all right all right you got me to stutter good job nah. she doesn't seem to care about anything honestly Rhonda knows she's gonna stay in the good graces of Vince and the higher ups because of her popularity. She will always and has brought many more eyes to the product. But for those who are constantly watching the product, we're over it. We appreciate you watching. Only built for wrestling rinks, YFM Sports. Thank you guys so very much. And before you leave, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And if you wanna hear YFM producer Jimmy B. Fearless speak some truth about the current ESPN and Disney firings, Click right here. It's quite incredible what he has to say about it. Suffering succotash, son.